Today, we're going to talk about helping your missionaries at home. Many times, missionaries will come through, whether on deputation or furlough, to visit your church. There are some things that you can do to be a help to those missionaries. Your church may already support them, or they may be looking for support, and you can help your church and your pastor um, by helping these missionaries as they come through. The first way is to host the visiting missionary. Um, Elisha, as he traveled, uh, came to the Shunammite woman's house, and she fed him, and then she spoke with her husband, and they made a room for Elisha. So when he would travel through, he would have somewhere to stay, to eat, and to be refreshed. This is a really important ministry um, that you can have a part of in your church. Um, there's uh, ways that you can make it possible. Now, we hosted missionaries in our home when our children were young. Um, our home was very small, and we only had two bedrooms with a bathroom in between them. And so it wasn't ideal for hosting missionaries, but we did it anyways. Um, and so we were able to expose our children to the servants of God. They were able to play with the missionaries' children. Um, I do believe that it was a very key part in our children um, learning to love missions, to understand that missionaries are real people, because we were able to spend time with them. Now, that may not be ideal all of the time, um, and if your home doesn't have that uh, availability, I understand that. But if you have the possibility of keeping a missionary in your home, it not only will be a blessing to the missionary, but really the greatest blessing will be to you and to your family. So here's some tips that I would give you if you were going to host a missionary in your home. Keep your lodging clean and as quiet as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, missionaries love to spend time with you. And so have your lodging clean. Keep your meals that you serve to them light and simple. And don't have any expectations. Let the missionary and the missionary's families know, you know, if you're not hungry, that's okay. Or if you don't prefer this particular meal, that's okay also. And so keep your, your meals light and simple. Many times it's late after an evening service and they have already eaten a large meal in the afternoon and they'll feel obligated to eat the food that you've prepared. So if you let them know, you have no expectations of what they would eat and you will not be offended. Many times they will opt for just maybe a salad or a little bowl of soup rather than a heavy meal. So learn what the missionary needs. And, and of course, look ahead if they have any special dietary needs. You know, we don't want to feed them peanut if they have a peanut allergy. Um, so be aware of the needs that the missionary's family may have as they come through your church. Anticipate if that missionary has children. Have Even if you don't have children at home, it's a great practice to have a little box of toys, coloring books, and crayons, um, maybe a pack and play that you have tucked away just for that event. Many times, um, the missionary's children will come and they feel like they have to just sit in a chair or sit on the couch and be quiet. And we all know that children do not like to sit still very long. And they've already done that in service after service after service. And so allow the children to play and have things for them to play with so that they're not playing with things you don't want them to play with. And then be natural. Learn to laugh. It's okay if you're not stuffy and, and asking you know questions as if you're in the church service. There's a time and place for that. But allow your missionaries to laugh and, and be natural. They're just normal human people, just like we are. And so learn to relax and enjoy their company. Um, let them go to bed at a good time. If you have them after the evening service, let them go to bed. They're probably tired. Now, if they want to visit because they're starved for fellowship, that's okay too. But if they're tired, allow them to go to bed and to rest. And then I'll let them know what your schedule may be in the morning. Um, you may be having to go to work and leave by 8, but let them know they're welcome to stay and let themselves out in the morning. They may want breakfast. They may prefer not to. They may need a cup of coffee. Uh, they may not. So find out what those things are and let them be as natural as they can be. And always encourage the missionaries. Um, you can give them advice if they ask for it. Um, but just encourage them, be an encouragement, praise them for the good things, find ways that you can um, praise their children if there's children in the home, or maybe something that um, you learned from them during one of the services. But always be an encouragement to the missionary. They do face a lot of different things when they're on deputation and on furlough that are not encouraging. So make sure that you're not one of those things.